Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and now co-host for Resurrect the Republic Radio and Dirty Uncle Sam. I want to share with you more proof about how the BLM thinks it is absolutely funny to steal our people's land. You need to be aware that they think it is a joke in order to obtain the resources that they want to gain. Well, as you know, or you don't know, when did we come back? 94? Left the big Yeah, we left DC. Yes. Dennis, Marcia, there is life after DC. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Dick and Mary came back. Dick went to um, Death Valley. Mary went to Mojave. And I went back to Western Region in San Francisco. And I had met Dick mainly in D.C. when we had staff meetings. <laughs> and, but, you know, we'd sit there and wonder, why are we here? Um, but we weren't back too long, and Dick calls and said, we need to have a meeting. Uh, there's a mine I want to acquire. So, okay. And so we had this meeting, and I'm sitting there. I believe Mary was there, too. And well, what's the value? Do you have an idea what the value of this mine is? Yeah, around 40 million. Well, I came from DC lands, and I knew how much money was in the bank. And I knew the Western region didn't have the money, but I was thinking, well, let's see, we can take 20 million from Southeast, because they never spend their money. We can take maybe 10 million from Omaha, because they never spend their money. And I'm trying to figure out where are we going to get this 40 million? And the people I left in the DC office are going to kill me. And so anyway, I forget how long it took us to acquire it. Forever. It did take forever, because we're, we went out to the uh, mine. And the owners were two little guys that had been in the Second World War. This mine was in operation in the 40s. And uh, you have to do a chain of title. It was this thick. I swear it was. And Ralph Meinhan, our attorney's going like this. We didn't know what to do. We called everybody in the country. Nobody knew what to do. Nobody wanted to touch it. But anyway, we did get it appraised, and we did acquire for $2.5 million, which I stole the money from Washington to acquire it. So meanwhile, Ms. Martin over here comes up with, oh, well, I have one that's going to be a donation. Okay, that won't be so bad. But what were we doing New Year's Eve? We're in the office trying to get this stupid thing closed. <laughs> so those two, two stories that I have on the Martins. But I did have a letter here from the Washington office. Uh, and what it says in the letter to Mary is, thank you for all of your support. And Mary has, and Dick, they have supported Lands. Lands isn't always supported because we're the bad, the bad guys. We come in and we take this land, and we always take it for less than it's worth. Um, so it has been a long struggle, but thanks to Mary, she has kept now the San Francisco office is the Oakland office. She's kept the office open, and I still talk to Washington and keep telling them you need more, you need more staff. So uh, they do hope to staff up, and thanks to Shelton too for all he has done. But some of the things that we felt. Uh, were really uh, very, I guess, stars, thanks to you, were Molly Core, Catellus. Oh, do you remember what we went through oh. getting Catellus? Yeah. It was just unbelievable. That's when I met Chelton. <laughs> <laughs> and just thank you, you know. Um, that is a great acreage. That is the only, Mary is the only superintendent has done that. I've been on, this is my third brand new park. And we never did in the other parks what you have done here. So I want to say thank you.
audience participation here. Up on the wall, and I don't know whether you can see them or not. Are <laughs> three red numbers. Some pretty big ones and one small one. And uh, I don't know how to do this, but I guess we'll go table to table and we do have a prize for the winner. You can guess what those numbers are. We'll start with the big one. Farm. <laughs> we'll start with the big one, 111,550.54. Mr. Possum. That's how much money Americans spend in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen me in years. <laughs> there's, there's, no. There's not enough room on that window for this. <laughs> Acres acquired under the acquisition Queen's regime. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 11,550.54 acres. You have the option. One dollar or a super lotto ticket. <laughs> No takers. That's the amount of money spent for that 111,000 acres. No. Wait a minute. transactions, leases involving all sorts of guzzlers and improvements and water rights and interesting legal complexities, very, very dynamic. And again, Mary 
focused the issue, brought people together, people who would never think about working together, and she brought us all together. So, again, thank you so much for bringing us all together. Okay, so as you can hear for yourself from these government employees, they find it amusing and funny to steal our people's land. Steal it. They think it's amusing to do away with the cattle, which is a food source for our people. They have got numbers up, which you saw yourself, to let them know how much private acreage there is left in a certain area which they plan to obtain. I am not only appalled, I am sickened, I am disgusted, but I am thankful to whomever recorded this. It is obvious that they recorded this because they wanted to expose what was going on and whoever did that Thank you for your bravery, for holding that camera up and catching them on camera. Each one of these individuals need to be in handcuffs. They need to be in jail for what they are doing. Can you not see how they're making a mockery out of the American people? They find it hilarious that they're running people off of their land. They find it hilarious that they're obtaining the land for a lot less than what it's worth because they want the resources? Because somebody else wants a mine? Or, or somebody else wants another resource? This is the exact thing that is going on in Burns, Oregon, people. Is this okay with you? Do you still think, are you still under the illusion that they give a rip about you and that this is only about the Hammonds? Wake up, it is not. This is about, they want complete and total control over the land mass within our union's borders. They want control of the resources and it has nothing to do with saving the environment. It has everything to do with their corrupt money-making schemes, stealing the resources from the people so they can line their pockets. It has been reported Uranium One is behind the uranium uh, deal that has to do with the land out there in Burns, Oregon, as well as out there in Nevada, which leads right towards Hillary Clinton. Uranium One is a Russian company. Now, make no mistake. I do not believe that the Russians are our enemy. But I do know that these corporations that are doing this to the people, and they're doing it through their pretend environmentalism, they're doing it through to push through UN Agenda 21. These companies are taking advantage of it, and everybody is just sitting down, laying down, and not caring because it's not their home. You better realize it's going to be. You better realize if you don't take a stand now, you're not going to have a home. Look up the Wildlands Project map. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull that up on the screen, and I'm going to show you exactly where they want you to be able to live. And anybody, I don't care if you're Republican, you're Democrat, you're not affiliated with any party, I don't care what side of the, of the forum you stand on right now, please, Listen to my voice. Please look at this map because I want to let you know when they come to take you out of your home, when they come to burn you out of your home, or whatever the case may be, they're not going to ask you what party, party affiliation you are or if you're gay or straight. You're either going to move or they will move you. And if you don't go compliantly, they will have no problem killing you. They have proven this time and time again. You better start studying you in Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 
because let me tell you something, people, it is very real, it is very active, and it is infiltrated in your towns. They do it through an organization called ICLEI. They've changed their name so many times because they got caught. So now they, they do different names and change the names, but it's all the same. It leads to Rockefeller Foundation and do it all under the guise of sustainable development and sustainable cities. Some of you individuals that are that are so against the UN coming in here, oh, if they come here with their blue hats, we'll take care of them. We're not going to let them come in here. You better realize they're not going to invade. They are infiltrating, and they have already done it. Read your uh, the president's um, 21st century police force. You better wake up, people. All this is interconnected. Oregon is the stand. It really is. This right now is ground zero for taking our country back and stopping the globalist and the corrupt corporations that are stealing the land of all our people. And make no mistake, it is not just in Oregon. It is not just in Nevada. It is not just in Texas. It is all over the United States of America. And I'm going to show you that. And then I ask that you please spread this message. Because the reality is you're targeting yourself, your children, your grandchildren. And even if you don't have grandchildren, even if you're gay, you have somebody you care about. You have somebody you care about. And I know the people that you care about you don't want harmed. And you better realize they're targeting you too. It's not a black or white gay or straight, Christian versus non-Christian issue. This is an issue of humanity. And we can either fight it together and stop this madness, or we will all fall. Lives from all walks of life hang in the balance. And the choice is yours. Okay, this is one of the Wildlands Project maps. I'm going to show you several. As you can see, it's the simulated reserve and corridor system to protect biodiversity as required by the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, the Wildlands Project. UN and US Man and Biosphere Programs and World Heritage Program as a vital step in attaining sustainable development. This map was used in the United States Senate to stop the ratification of the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity. This was the actual map that stopped it. However, you need to realize something. They're implementing it through BLM. They're implementing it through um, EPA. And this is their goal, people. Everything in red will be core reserves and corridors, little to no human use. Do you see all the red? Do you see it? If you have any land or a home over there, uh, psh, you know, especially if you support what's going on with BLM, because let me tell you, baby, that's what's going to happen. Buffer zones which means highly regulated use, which means um, you won't be allowed there unless you gain permission, and usually that is for only government employees. So that's in the yellow. The orange is the border, the NAFTA 200 mile wide international zone of cooperation. And as you can see, it's all right here. You remember a ton of people talking about the Constitution Free Zone from 100 miles from the border, that's why. They can say they are not implementing this, but oh, yes, they are. That is why your 100 miles in is considered a constitution-free zone. These tiny little green spots, very few of them on this entire map of our entire union, is for normal use. Wow. 
Indian reservations are in pink, and gray is military reservations. Do you see much gray on there as well? You see gray here, here, and here. So I guess the rest of our country doesn't need to be protected because they're already sold out to the UN. Well, doesn't that make you wonder really where the people are supposed to be? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you their plan. Okay, this right here is another one of the UN Agenda 21 heritage programs, NAFTA, you know, where they can make those parks, to use it as an excuse. So let me show you where they're going to allow people. Because I want you to be very aware, in order for this to go through, there has to be the death of a lot of people that are inside the borders of our union for them to accomplish this. They can do so by force. They can do so by starving people out. They can do so by controlling the food supply. They can do so in many different ways. This is what we are fighting in Burns, Oregon, people. This is what is really going on. And yes, there are corporations behind it. Yes, Hillary Clinton is linked to it. She's not the only one. This has been around for a very long time. She's not the only one. Now I'm not making an excuse for her. She needs to be in handcuffs along with every other politician and every person who is involved in any corporation that is doing this to our people and people around the globe because this is not just an American problem, but we are the last stand, people. What do you think Syria is fighting? Okay, so on this map, you can see it is the simulated reserve and corridor system to protect biodiversity as mandated. Mandated! Excuse me, I didn't sign any contract with them. Did you? I didn't sign any contract with them giving them permission to attack my fellow American people. Or even people who live in our country that are not American. I didn't give them permission to attack my brothers and sisters, my neighbors, my friends, my family. And I will not give them such permission. I signed no contract. Mandated by who? The king? Only kings mandate anything. So as mandated by the Convention on Biological Diversity, the Wildlands Project, UN and the U.S. MAN and Biosphere Program and various UN, U.S. Heritage Programs and NAFTA. How many times have we told you get out of the United Nations? How many times did the Founding Fathers warn us about foreign entanglements? And yet we have a president of the United States, not only sitting as president, but also on the UN Security Council, which is unlawful. You're not allowed to do that. He is not loyal to just one. He is loyal to two. And he is showing you exactly where his loyalty lies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. I want you to see right here. Little black dots are cities that equal 10,000 people. So per black dot, 10,000 people. You don't see a lot of black dots all over the entire United States, do you? No, you don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, obviously you can see over here, core reserves, corridors, little to no human use. Wow, that's messed up. The uh, western United States, isn't it? Actually more than that. Buffer zones, highly regulated use. Oh, that would mean the federal government only. Or UN. You know, because that federal government that's stealing the land of those people out in Oregon, they're just so wonderful and pay your paychecks. Individuals in Burns, Oregon, please realize you are being attacked and quit supporting it because you are literally supporting your own demise. We care about you. We love you. We know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, please research UN Agenda 21, UN Agenda 2030.
It is detrimental to your livelihood. It is detrimental for you to live in order for you to know what is going on. And you can say, oh, you're not concerned about it. But you will be when it comes to you and it will come to you. And that is what we are trying to stop. So normal use zones of cooperation. So in other words, those normal use zones of cooperation have to be done with permission. That's how you get cooperation. So you got these little teeny tiny green dots. And of course, like I showed you earlier right here, you have the border, the agreement of NAFTA, 124 mile wide international zone of cooperation. You wonder why our borders are not closed? Right there it is, people. Because it's an international zone of cooperation. There you have it. 100 miles in, on our side, are unconstitutional zones. They don't apply. Why don't they apply? Because it's considered an international zone. And nobody's realizing it. Indian reservations are in pink. Military reservations are in gray. The cities with 10,000 people per one, and I'm going to blow that up so you can see, I am not exaggerating. I am blowing it up to 175%. And I want you to see how many black dots there really are. Do you see? How many people in California, look here, are going to be run out? And you thought you were free. Supporting Governor Jerry Brown. You want to know what sandbags about? That's it. Right there. Those little black dots represent 10,000 people per, and other than that, you're not going to have access to any of this. And you're not going to have access to any of this. And you're not going to have permission to travel here. Nor are you going to have permission here. Or up here. Oh, well, maybe right here. And a couple of black dots here. A couple of black dots here. Let's see about the East Coast. Okay, I have literally blown this up to 300%. About as big as I'm going to be able to get it. You have black dots in these areas. If you live in Florida, hope you don't like it. Because there's black dots here, and looks like there might be some black dots here. And other than that, well, you know, tough. Hope you have a boat. And the people over here on the East Coast, Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, all of you guys, well, looks like you're just going to be all messed up. All through here, North Carolina, South Carolina. All of you. Because there's only black dots over in this area and this area. Of course, right around New York, you've got quite a bit of black dots. New York's up here, but, you know, in this spread over here. So make no mistake, and I know I may sound a little bit irritated, and for that I apologize, but I am tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of the infighting. I am tired of people arguing that Burns, Oregon is not a justifiable protest. It absolutely is. These individuals are thieving land for the resources and do not care about not one person that is inside our union, whether you are legal or not, whether you're a citizen or not, they don't care about you. Where do you think all that population, get this map, pull it up, the cities. With the black dots, you're talking 10,000 people. Do the math. 
We have 355 million people. The last I checked. Within the borders of the United States of America that are citizens. So what? What's going to happen to all the other people? Where are you going to go? Please tell me that you're not under the illusion, well, they'll just find somewhere for you and what, create another island? When the government takes over like this, it's not only tyranny, there is always death involved. And they laugh in your face while the patriots stand for each and every person out there. You need to understand it is when it is in the hands of the quote unquote federal government, it is not the federal government. It is private corporations that have deals with the federal government. It is not about protecting wildlife. It is not about anything except for resource grabbing and establishing their agenda. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak to you from the heart. I want to ask you to really pay attention to the math. I want you to really understand that this is not about who you support politically. It is not whether you believe in liberty or Marxism or communism or a Republican or Democrat. It doesn't matter. They do not care. And they will come to your home. They will move you off of your home because that is what they want. So you can either stand with those who are standing in Oregon. Or you can wait for a knock at the door. And that is what all of us are trying to prevent. Is the ability for the federal government to be able to knock on your door. They have knocked on doors, they've stolen land, they've terrorized the people, and we are trying to stop it. You either support that or you don't. But make no mistake, you will be targeted by the government. It doesn't matter what political affiliation you are, or even if you are not one. Each one of us must stand together and stop this. They are limited to their 10 mile square. They know what they're doing. They're tricking you and you're buying into it. I have the hope that this video has helped you realize the corruption. And while you're supporting them, they're laughing at you. They're mocking you because they get to steal your land all because they want the resources. I want to let each and every one know that Tom Lacobear Stewart is now in Burns, Oregon. He will be recording live. He um, is trying to have the ability to live stream so there is more than one individual who is able to live stream from Burns, Oregon on what is going on. So if you would uh, like to support independent media, I will leave a link below to be able to help fund um, him being able to cover what's going on in Burns. Please think about what I've said. Thank you. God bless you. Stand strong and Semper Fidelis.